I'm back everybody. I'm really excited to be here. It's been, I don't even know, so long since I've made soap and it just was driving me crazy. Um, so I'm really excited. I have new supplies, I have new fragrances, I have a bunch more colors. Um, so I cannot wait to just show you what I'm about to make. All I've been doing is thinking about soap and planning to make it and drawing up ideas. So here is my next one. It's a, um, Calypso Sun Soap. Oh my gosh, the smell of the fragrance is so good already. I cannot wait to see what it turns into when I get it into the soap. So I'll let you guys see how I did. I'm excited. I get to make soap again. <laughs> it's been so long. How long has it been? Oh, just knocking stuff over. A week? It has been longer than a week. Since my last video. Feels like it's been years. Okay. Yes. I made lye water last night in order to have everything the same room temperature. I'll mix up these oils just for another second. Alright. The lye water goes in very carefully. Gene is standing back at least five feet because he's scared. <laughs> I'm gonna scrape this out. I'm just gonna blend this for like three seconds because I don't want it to get too hard yet. <laughs> yep. Okay. You want this back? We are using Calypso Sun Fragrance Oil today. It smells so good. Like very citrusy, but something else. It's got this very sweet fragrance, like maybe orange peel in it. I'm going to use almost all of it. I can use the whole bottle, but I want to save some for the uh, piping I'm going to do on top. Can you put this away for me? All right. I'm just going to mix that in by hand, and in this first color I am, I have Shimmering White Clouds Mica Powder from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Here I have Yellow Pet Canary from Wholesale Supplies Plus. This one is Siesta Sunset Orange from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They all are Wholesale Supplies Plus, so I guess I don't have to keep mentioning that. Uh, Adobe Orange here. And then New Tone Red. And here I have Purple Passion Mica Powder. I want this bottom one to set up as good as I can get it, because I want it to be hard enough that when I put the other layers on top of it, it doesn't just break and get mushy. Close enough! I can't mix this any longer, I just have to move on. I'm too impatient. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to do a nice long layer at the bottom here. And since I'm piping the top, I don't have to worry about saving any to go on top. Do, 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 do. do. Mix up our yellow. Let's see here. The yellow turned kind of peachy. You see that? Looks like yogurt. <laughs> it looks like yogurt. Let's 
see if we can layer this without it breaking into the first layer. My fingers are dirty. Alright, I need my big spatula though. Just kind of... I'm going to let it run right down my spatula and just ease it onto that layer. Can you turn the mold around for me? Perfect. So much easier with two hands. Or two extra hands. I already have two hands. Mmm. This color is so perfect for this Calypso Sun, because it really is like that perfect, like citrusy, almost peachy scent. Ugh, it's just beautiful. Just getting everything into the edges and into the corners. Just a little tappy tippy taps. And now for whatever the color that this is called, I can't even remember. Sunset, maybe, something. Yes, this is good, Trace. Good, good, good. Yeah. That's good. Seems like it's setting up enough that I don't have to worry about it busting through too much. Alright. Let's get into the corners. was sunset something orange. This one is like a... I forget. I'm going to stop trying to remember what these colors are because there were six of them. I don't know how this does. It's just perfectly sitting on top. It's exactly what I hoped for. This is my first layered soap I've ever done, and it's just doing so good. doing over there, babe? Doing good. Doing real good? Yep. Real Googling good. stuff about soap making? Of course. <laughs> Definitely not playing games? No. Oh, I love the smell of this. Can you smell it over there? A little bit. Yeah. I feel like I've been smelling it for so long. Your smeller is at capacity. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna break my table. No, I'm not. I'm a big fan. What do you think? Gene, you're just like this table. You only have one leg. So uh -huh. is a table. That's funny, guy. I'm excited about this color. Ooh. Yay. That 
came out more pink than the first color, but it's real pretty. It's more sunset pink than that darker red was anyways, so I think this will look really nice. Beautiful. Tippy taps. Beautiful purple color. Let's see what this turns to. It's like an Easter purple. I like this. I'm just laying it down on top. I think it is coming out wonderfully. Yes, and I'll just push it into the corners, make sure all my sides are filled up nice and even. Oh man. This was such an intimidating soap to do. Six layers is a ton, and if any little bit of acceleration or separating or anything crazy had happened it would not have gone this smooth I am shocked honestly considering how many times I failed in the past at doing drop swirls and other random things and forgetting to even do things like put the fragrance oil into my soap I'm surprised this went so smooth not gonna lie tippy taps Amazing! Alright, I'm... Ugh. <laughs> Talking is hard! Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side and let it set up a bit and I'm gonna mix up my piping. Hey, I'm finally back to do the piping. I, um... I had to run yesterday. I didn't realize I started the soap so late and then I ended up not having time to do the piping because I had to run to work. So I'm doing it today. It's kind of set up. I mean obviously my soap is set up but I think I can still do the piping. I'm just gonna score the top of the soap before I pipe onto it. So here is my oils and my lye for piping. Oh where's my eye mask? I really like having hands and I really like having eyeballs so I like to protect those things as much as I can while I make soap. So here we have lye water and oil. So I'm just going to use my spatula to kind of break the fall. Okay, now that that is in there I'm just going to stir it just a bit to get it going. Get my immersion blender ready. Kick it up a notch. Get all this emulsified. It's so little soap in here that I literally only ran this for like two or three pulses and now it is soap. Okay, and I'm using Lapis Blue Mica Powder from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'm adding Calypso Sun to my piping as well. It just, I like having it in the whole soap. 
I don't know if other people put it in their piping, but I like having it everywhere. Alright, and again, just going to do this for a second. Alright, I've blended this up just long enough to get it to a light trace. Because I, it's not going to be ready to pipe, but I've got to leave it in the piping bag for a little while. While I score the top of my soap that I want to pipe. So here you can see I've just put my piping bag in the top of a pitcher. And I'm going to pour it right in there. I've clipped uh, the other end of it so that it doesn't just leak out. And I'll show you what kind of clip later in this video. I think it's just super handy. Alright, I'm going to get every last bit out. That's all in there. It's darker than I was planning. But I like it and it might lighten up later on. Here is the Calypso Sun Soap, and I have this old sculpting tool that I have, and I'm just going to run it along the top to break up the surface so that when I pipe onto the surface, the piping has something to hold on to, because I don't want to pipe onto it and then go to set it up in my um, drying area, and then it just you know, piping just falls right off because it wasn't attached to anything. So I'm just going to make sure there's some nice deep lines. That's not beautiful uh, by any means, but it'll be covered up with the piping as soon as that's set up. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go clean up a little bit and I'll come back and see if my piping is ready. My piping here feels good enough to pipe, so we'll have to see how that works out. And I just used one of these chip clips, basically, to hold the end of it so it doesn't fall out and just leak completely out. I'm going to test a little piece on a plate over here. got to move some stuff. Okay. Oh yeah. That's perfect. Oh, and it's so pretty. I'm going to turn this mold around because my lines are on this side. <laughs> I can't tell where I'm piping. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have started an Etsy shop. The first three or four soaps that I ever made are on there. If you're interested in getting them, they're only like five dollars each because they're not great. They were just kind of experiments. Um, and I will have these up in about a month. So sometime in early April they will be on Etsy for sale and I will leave links and things to all of my social media and my shop in the description box so you guys can follow me and such I'm gonna use this plate and just pipe the rest of it out into a nice swirl and give it to someone I like or keep it and end up giving it away um, as a prize because I do want to come up with some prizes for my followers because I noticed as of today, as of the day that I am filming this, um, I noticed that I do have 25 subscribers on YouTube which I'm just thrilled about. I can't even believe it and everyone watches my videos and leaves me wonderful comments. I'm so grateful to you all for being so supportive. The soaping community is just wonderful and amazing. Everyone's just really helpful and kind. 
and I think that's just great. I mean, just great. Um, alright, my little tiny, I don't know what you call that, cupcake top for a giveaway. Maybe when someone orders a few bars, one of my, maybe one of my first orders will get that one because I really want to encourage people to visit my shop. <laughs> And here I have, oh, I don't remember what it was called, hold on. And here I have Lapis Blue Mica mixed with oil, and in this one I have Jazzberry Red Mica, which I just think is so fun. Um, I'm just going to drizzle these on top. Oh, it's runny. And I might scrape this out onto this guy. There we go. Just putting some jazzberry red onto the peaks because I don't want it all over the top. I just kind of wanted it running right down the middle. Same thing here. Very cool. And I don't know, I feel like I need to lighten up the top a little bit. Maybe I'll make some salts. Okay, I have Epsom salts here that I mixed up with just a little bit of Shimmering White Clouds mica. Just to give it a little more white and shimmer to it. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on top very gently not going crazy here and that's it I'm all done with this one I think it's lovely oh my gosh I love the smell my whole house smells like this, which I'm just, mmm, I love it. I came home last night and it just smelled amazing in here. Um, and it's also making me really hungry. <laughs> All of the time. I just think about this soap and I get hungry. So I'll be back in 24-ish hours to cut this soap. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. We're back. Hello. It's been a while. I s did the base of this soap and then came back and did the piping. So it's set up at different rates and I'm hoping that it's going to just be still stuck together and worked out fine. I'm going to kind of break the sides off of the soap here a little bit so that I can peel them off. Ooh. It's still oily and stuff. I should have cleaned this, huh? Let me do that. <laughs> Let's peel this right out. Oh, very nice. Oh, that smell. 
can already smell it. There it is. I gotta clean it up all this a little bit, but that's basically the point there, the Calypso Sun. Oh, I love it. So cool. Alright. So I now have plenty more soap making supplies. So if you guys are interested in seeing more from me, you can like and subscribe my videos. Let me know what you think and how I'm doing. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, tips and tricks, you know. There's that one. Out of this end piece here, I'm making samples. They'll look like this. And that's because this is going into my Etsy shop. And if you buy something out of my Etsy shop, I will send you a sample of something else. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Super happy with that. Alright. And feel free to let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. If you're still out there, I'm so happy that you joined me today. Um, I I hope you liked what I did. Leave me comments. Let me know. Let me tell me what you think, please. I love reading your comments. Everyone here is so supportive and so wonderful. Um, I do want to let you guys know. I want to encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel because I am going to set up a drawing once I reach 250 subscribers. So help me get to 250 and I am going to set up a drawing. Uh, you can enter to win and if you win you'll get a free choice or a free soap of your choice. Alright, so let me show you what I have done today. Ooh, that Calypso Sun fragrance is amazing. If you would like to purchase this one, I have an Etsy shop set up and this will be in there soon. Um, I don't know when I'm going to make this video live, so it should be in there by early April, I think. Alright, I haven't done the math, but I'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll put it in the description box below if I figure it out at that point. Anyways, love you guys. Have an awesome day. See you later. Bye!